So today I thought I would feature um, a, uh, a local, uh, a few local products actually from Cedar Creek. So Cedar Creek is uh, just outside of um, Martinsville off 252. It's very convenient for us. It's literally right across the road from our neighborhood. So sometimes that's too convenient. Um, I believe at one time, and this probably is still true, uh, leave a comment if you know otherwise, but I believe one of their claims is that it's the only winery, brewery, and distillery in the same location in the state of Indiana. Um, regardless, they have wines, they have beers, they have um, spirits. And I don't have any of their wines today. I have a couple of their, um, their uh, um, spirits and a couple of their beers. Um, I think their wines are fine. I just, um, I just didn't get any wine for sampling today. Um, but uh, on the distillery side of things, um, they definitely have a rye and a bourbon, I think, or bourbon and rye. I know they have a rum, um, and I know they have a few other products. I don't remember everything that they have. Uh, I, as you know, tend to gravitate towards the um, bourbons and ryes anyway. Um, I had this beer the other night. I'm, I do like their uh, IPAs. They have a Haystorm and a Smash uh, Mosaic IPAs that I really like a lot. Uh, but I actually had this the other day, and it was kind of good. Caramel pecan milk stout. So I thought I would include that in the review. And then uh, once a year, uh, I, don't, I know they've been doing this for at least a few years. Uh, they have a special release called the Darkest Achievement. And they have a few different varieties of the Darkest Achievement, different flavors. I picked up a, a bottle of the vanilla bean. So let's, uh, you know, I don't even really know which tasting order. So we're going to start with the bourbon. Can't find a lot about their mash bills. Now, uh, do go to their website. The easiest one to remember is drinkatthecreek.com, I believe. Um, and you can learn more about the winery, the distillery, although their distillery page is, doesn't seem to be operating. So Cedar Creek, if you're listening, you might want to check that out. Um, and then also about their brewery and see all the different beers they have on top. They also uh, recently, a few months ago, opened a, an eatery, a restaurant. Um, their cauliflower crust pizza is pretty good. Um, but I can't tell you anything about these mash bills, um, but let's give it a taste. First, we'll start with the bourbon, uh, four-year bourbon whiskey. Uh, I believe they still, or they distill everything on site. I saw they're still run yesterday when I picked these up. I think they were making some rum then. Um, we know that this is a 120 proof. Um, it is a single barrel straight bourbon. Um, and um, this is uh barrel number 12 bottle number 279 for what that's worth so let's give that a little bit of a taste now i've had this uh it's been a while since i've had their bourbon but i did have it i think right when it first came out a couple of years ago and um it's pretty good now it's a little bit higher price maybe it's about 50 bucks but again it's a local in my backyard right across the street from our neighborhood um, business. So like to frequent them. And oh yeah, by the way, if you're uh, around in the summertime, they have a whole uh, concert series, great stage, bring your chair, uh, pack a picnic. Uh, it's, it's really a good time. A lot of good bands play over there. So let's give this a taste. Again, I don't, I don't know anything about their, their um, mash bill, but it's coming in pretty hot. So I'm guessing there's a fair amount of rye in this. Um, now I'm curious, I had some of the rye last night. I've had this bourbon before, but I haven't had it in, let's call it a year. It's been a while. So to taste these side by side, is going to be interesting. Will I be able to, to denote uh, a big flavor profile difference? I don't know. Nose is, is high on the ethanol. I don't ne necessarily like that on a nose. I can get past it though um, on a taste. Nice and smooth and buttery on the front end, but then that heat just kind of follows. I can just feel it going down. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. <clears throat> it's a good drink, but it is, you know, it is, again, it's 120 proof. Uh, so keep that in mind. So it's a little bit hotter maybe than, than some of your standard fare bourbons and whiskeys out there. Uh, of course, you can find plenty in, in that same proof uh, ballpark anyway, but there is some heat there. But it is a nice, smooth finish. Um, the heat is there, but but it doesn't get um, 
peppery or spicy on the back end. It just, that butteriness just, just kind of warms you up, you know? So I'm, I'm going to rinse between because I want to try to compare and contrast the bourbon to the rye. All right. Again, uh, the rye, they call it the Wood Walker whiskey, rye whiskey distilled from grain, 120 proof as well. Um, and it says one dollar from each bottle sold will be donated to the Fallen Lineman organization. So interesting. I don't know if this is single barrel. Uh, I don't know if this is batch or what what this is. Um, does it tell me anything more than that? And again, I can't tell you their mash bill. Rye whiskey. I don't know if it's 100 percent rye or, or anything like that. But let's give it a taste, and we're going to compare it to the bourbon. Usually, if I'm comparing a bourbon and a rye from the same uh, distiller, I would expect that the rye is going to be hotter than the bourbon, and that is not the case here. Um, the bourbon is is way, you know, has more heat. Again, on the proof, they're the same, um, but the bourbon is is a hotter drink, and this this rye is is uh, a lot smoother. Um, give it another taster. The nose is more pleasant too. I'm picking up again. Uh, mm. The ethanol smell is is faint. It's not as strong as this bourbon. Um, I'd say you know there's that buttery smell. Smell. I keep going back to the buttery, but um, let's give it a sip here. Yeah, I mean it's got. I don't know if you can see that the legs. And the glass is really good. That is a good drink. Um, I, of these two, I prefer the rye over the bourbon. Bourbon's good, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, but this rye doesn't, um, it's a nice balance, you know, a long uh, uh, taste, but it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't bring me the heat, uh, which again, is surprising to me. Usually rye is gonna be hotter, at least in my experience. But both good products. Uh, um, this is the bourbon again. I think I said it was fifty. The uh, rye is fifty-five dollars. And again, you can get that at uh, Cedar Creek here in Martinsville. I don't know if they have distribution in liquor stores or, or whatnot, so I don't know if you can find it in other places or not. But let's move on to the beer. Quick drink of water. And again, this is a uh, caramel pecan milk stout. They do all their brewing and canning on site um, nice dark color as you would expect toffee notes coffee notes a little bit of chocolate say when i had this the other night and, and today is the same it's just the first sip is is very much a stout you know no doubt about it um but you do pick up the caramel the pecan is there to me but it's 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 kind of it's very subtle um but to me as as you let that linger and sit the mouth feels good uh it's not super thick sometimes you get a stout and it's super thick i would say this is you know pretty thin as far as stouts are concerned um but you know, now the pecan comes in so it comes in very very late in the taste profile this is a good drink now what i did find when i had one of these the other night is i i had one uh, slow sipped on it, and then I decided I was going to get another. I couldn't finish the second one, not because of the alcohol content per se, but it just felt like it was too sweet. Um, again, I usually prefer an IPA, but this is a really good, really good drink. All right, so last one today is their darkest achievement. 2022 is the year. And this is the vanilla bean variety. Um, they have a few other flavors. I can't remember them all off the top of my head. Uh, this is bottle number 236. Now, the ABV on this one is 14.5%. So short story, <laughs> last year I saw this and I was interested in it. Uh, and this, the darkest achievement, I guess I should tell you, it is a bourbon barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout. So again, we're gonna be in the stout family again. Um, but I got this last year and I think I bought like four bottles and cracked the first one, enjoyed it. And then I had the second one and I felt like I was hammered. Um, I didn't 
think that that, that alcohol content um, would, would kick my ass as well as it did, but it did. So drink or beware uh, if you go to, to the brewery and you have one of these. This is a high, high alcohol content uh, drink. So just beware of that. Uh, and beware of that when you bring it home because, you know, you don't want to be passed out on your living room floor. But nice, rich, dark, almost looks like a molasses color. I mean, to kind of compare that to the other, they're not too dissimilar in color. I'm just kind of holding them up to the light a little bit. The the pecan stout, caramel pecan stout, much lighter in color when you hold it up to the light. Now, the nose in this is really interesting. I mean, the, the nose on this one is, is coffee forward. Um, you, you, you get that the moment your nose gets into the glass. This one, I'm not finding really hardly any coffee on the nose. And I have to inhale pretty deeply. It's, I can tell it's a stout, um, but I would say the nose on this is a little boring if I'm being honest. I mean, look at that glass, how it just sticks on there. Hmm. The taste on this, you definitely get the vanilla. I think I should have just got the plain one without the vanilla. I bet that would be better. I don't like the vanilla in this one. Um, hmm. Yeah, interesting. That's good. It's okay. Again, I'm not a huge stout fan, so I should qualify there. I think if you are a stout fan, these are both. Uh, this should be in your wheelhouse. These are things that you should go get. Um, let me try that one more time. more viscous than um, than this one uh, does coat the mouth really well it's um the vanilla is there like I said it's a little off-putting the vanilla is so I may go get uh, just the regular uh, imper uh, uh, darkest achievement without the vanilla uh, uh, or maybe try one of the other varieties um, it's okay um, it's not as good as the one I had or my memory of the one that I had last year but it is okay. So regardless, uh, you can't go wrong at Cedar Creek. You got the distillery, you got the brewery, you got the winery, you got the eatery, you got the music in the summertime. Even sometimes during uh, the colder months, they'll have uh, you know, a person playing, a uh, singer-songwriter or singers just come in and play their guitar uh, inside the, the brewery or inside the eatery. So great place, very family-friendly, uh, and that sort of thing too. But definitely you should check it out. Indiana's only winery brewery and distillery all in one location so anyway i appreciate you uh watching this uh of course give me a little thumbs up if you're so inclined and hope you subscribe and uh, we'll do some more things here soon